Hey, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute that I have posted a video. I know, I know, I know, but sooner than later. So here is my video and I'm so excited about today's video because today's video is about product review and a first impressions on a product that I have been waiting for. And this is Ella Luz Lip Oil Gloss. Yes, I mean, I possibly can't hold all five of them, but I'm going to try. See, this is how it looks. And they come in five colors, so I have all the five colors here. They were giving first access to these lip glosses on Instagram, so I just went ahead and got them. And here it is, ready for me to review it for you, so that you know which one is going to be perfect for you. But before I show you how these gorgeous colors are going to look, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I share a video. Also, like this video if you like it and share it with everybody because this is going to be a bomb.com video. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook handle so that you know what's coming up or just follow me because I post dope stuffs. The packaging looks good, as in it doesn't look cheap, the plastic is good, it has Ella Luz written over it with that um, signature style, if you can see, yeah, just want to check. It's written Vaidosa, I, I don't know what that means, um, tell me if you know what that means, write that down in the comment section and let me know, I'm always up for some knowledge. And here is written oil infused lip gloss, now that is what I've been looking for. Now, why have I been so excited about this product? So I have wanted a lip gloss always, which is not going to be sticky, which is going to give me the right amount of pigment without like a bam pigment, something that you can just gloss and go and voila, she heard me. What can you say? Let's try the first color, which to me seems to be the lightest color. It's, it's called Caramello. I may like some Caramello. First off, let me swatch it for you. This is how it looks in the daylight. Yeah, I think, yeah. It's caramel, like it's peach, peachy orange color. It didn't feel sticky to me when I was swatching it on my hand, but it might be a different story altogether when I... The doe foot applicator is really good. So this is Caramello and it is really light, has a really nice oil sleek shine. It doesn't feel sticky but, and it's a little sheer. This is how it looks. Time to move on to the second one, let me... Mm. As you can see, my lips are really pigmented, so if you have pigmented lips, you can just put some concealer on your lips, put puff some powder, then put on the lip gloss over it, or you can just put a lip liner which matches your natural lip color and to mask that pigmentation on your lip, like I have. But I'm gonna go straight ahead with the lip gloss without anything on my lips because I really want you guys to see how it looks without any work done underneath it, like all natural. Moving on to the next one, this is Cafe Comlici. Cafe Comlici. I like the name, it has um, a nice tropical white to it, but okay. I'm going to swatch this beside my Caramello. It is a deeper color for sure. This is a Caramello and this is a Cafe Comlici. So you can see it is a much deeper shade. So I'm gonna try So this is how so this is how Cafe Kamalichi looks. Now let me also tell you that I have not double dipped. So whatever you see on my lip is the amount of product that you can get out of that one swipe that you take off from the container. It's pretty nice color. I really it's it's a really nice color. It's, I feel mm -hmm, I'm digging this color. And this is like no studio light. This is under daylight. This is how the color looks under Daylight. Moving on to the next one. This is Bijou and I will be swatching this beside the other. To me this this is a very nice color as in this has a little pink to it but before okay see this one. 
the dough food applicator takes out quite a good amount of product like I don't think you would need to go in the second time so this is Beiju so if you're looking for something which is light new natural and you don't want a bam pigment I feel that Caramello, Cafe Com Lychee and Bijou will do a fantastic job and it's I like that it's not sticky and it has the right nice color and just for your reference my foundation shade is North Tromboli and I'm a NC35 in Max Studio Fix Fluid. Okay moving on to the fourth. This one is Picante and I think it is also name of uh, Chili. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna swatch this and let's talk about this this one this is the picante color it has a little mauve in it still in the pink but with a mauve so if you're looking for a mauve pink this might be it so this is picante it has a little mauve to it still in the natural nude category last but not the least i have this color at Atrevido, which is also the darkest color in the range. I'm uh, going to swatch this like I did for everything. And this is, yes, it is the darkest color and way more pigmented. I don't even have to tell you which one it is. It is this one, Atrevido. And it has, and a burgundy. Yeah, it's like a mauve, mauve burgundy. And I'm going to put that on. Oh, yeah. I don't have to tell you that you can see the color. Yes, it is the darkest color amongst the five glasses and it is beautiful like the other one but if you want a little bit more color and just don't want like a whole lot nude, nude, like stay in the nude range, this color might be it for you. Time for my verdict for the Ella Luz lip oil gloss is that they are really good nice shine nice sheen not that stickiness and the right amount of pigment if and if you want something for an everyday swipe and glow gloss this is really good and if you want a little bit more color you can of course go and get your Atrevido the doe foot applicator is on point it is flat it's smooth it just picks up the right amount of product I did not need to double dip pretty 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 uh, well made product and I really like the color because there's something for everybody that is what I loved about it there's something for everybody the only thing I would say that it might just need reapplication so you might want to carry this in your purse when you're out so that you keep looking gorgeous throughout the day so that's about it that is what I had to tell you about these Balm.com product Ella Luz lip oil glosses. I will be shooting another review uh, on Ella Luz product which is the bronzing stick which is such a rave and they sold out just like this though they have restocked now but they're still selling out can you imagine that even the restock is selling out so i will be shooting a review for that and i will be actually doing a makeup with it so you know how to apply it and go about it but with uh so i will be back soon with another video which is going to be an ella loose bronzing stick review video with the makeup uh and and you don't want to miss out on that so make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also the bell button beside the subscribe button so that you know when I post a video and also share and like this video and follow me on my Instagram and Facebook handles with that this is Debbie signing off I love you all so much bye bye